Let's move on to the multi-feeding up from the high places, the high positions up here. This is more tricky because uh, now we are in the attacking uh, position and this exercise could be used for, um, for the defense training in the singles, also in the doubles. It can also be used for defense training in singles, full court. So sometimes I hit slow, sometimes I hit the smashes. But how, to, how, how do we do this up in the air? It's, it's always here that uh, some of the players I train, they really struggle on, uh, on hitting these smashes. So you need to practice uh, this uh, a little bit. I will, uh, I will show you how, uh, how I do this, how I would recommend you to, uh, to train this technique. It's, uh, a lot of things are similar to the low positions. I still have, uh, I still have the, um, the shuttles in my hand, the same way in front of your body, open up so I can, uh, I can pull them up. I, uh, I still use the, these two fingers on pulling the shuttles up. What's different here is that now I need to throw the shuttle up in the air. Just a little bit, not too much. I will show you two different techniques. I will show you the fast one where I hit the shuttle very quickly and very fast. This is used for more, uh, for more fast feeding when uh, we really want the player on the other side to have quick reactions and, and train the defense in a, in a very, very quick movement. And I will also show you the other one where I throw the shuttle up higher in the air where I can do more precise hits and the player has more time to react on the other side. Let me start with, um, with the fast one. And uh, the fast one, it, that's really important that you hit the shuttle before it starts to rotate down. So when I throw the shuttle up, I need to hit it somewhere in this position. If the shuttle goes like this, it will be a little bit more tricky for us to hit it because I have a bigger chance of hitting the feathers. So I want it to hit, I want to hit the shuttle around this position. You need to use the same uh, principles as at the low positions. You still need to have a loose grip so you can use the finger power to push. And then of course you need to have a, a swing up here. So it needs to be like this. As you can see, I'm rotating now a little bit in my arm. That's different from the low positions. Let me now show you the more, uh, the more controlled multi-feeding where I throw the shuttle up higher in the air. I'm waiting for it to come down to me and then I do the precise hit. In this multi-feeding technique, it's easier for me to do precise hits down on the other side, out on the line or, or on the body, on the, the player working. I have more control. On, uh, on the shuttle because it's not going really, really fast and quick, 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 quick all the time. I will, uh, I will take the shuttle the same way as the other two. I will just throw the shuttle a little bit higher up in the air and this is where it gets tricky because you need, to have, uh, you need to have a good feeling on where to hit the shuttle. Is it here or is it all the way to the side? I would recommend it to hit it around this position so a little bit out in the side where you still feel comfortable on hitting the hard smash out here. Mm -hmm. 